This has been a really, a really interesting journey, but tonight marks the end of the journey for me. I'll be leaving you in the capable hands of... Get down! The explosion was great, watching it unfold and speaking to the SFX guys and all that, I mean, that was just so much fun. I don't think I was even in that day. I think I showed up, if I remember correctly. I'm such a geek. These doors here will be exploding a big fireball right across this road. In that void of that door, there'll be a, a soft doors put in position. It's like a foam board. It's like an insulation product you find in your house. All this detailing has been painted also as well to look like the original door. And then just prior to the explosion, we'll just cut it and pre-weaken it so that when the explosion punches the door, it breaks it all into pieces and shoots across the road. So each one of these pots represents an explosive charge that's going to go in. Uh, the smaller one will be the explosive plus some petrol. And then this bigger one here will be the debris. You know, this is cork. It's very, very lightweight. I fire it at uh, actors and stunt persons and everything. It looks like brickwork. Nice dark shape to go through the fireball. It will start at its maximum there to start teetering off. We've been thinking about this for about sort of three months now, initially, when Matt started broaching the idea that this is what we'd like to do. So with the explosion, I was very keen, um, again, as a producer, that it didn't look like a TV explosion. I think one of the big problems with a lot of pyrotechnic effects in uh, British television is that they look like somebody lighting a match in front of the camera. I was very clear right from the beginning that if we were going to do it, we had to do it properly. We've got four cameras running tonight to try and uh, cover the event. We've got film cameras for the first time in being human. That's really for high speed stuff to get all the flames. And uh, we're very lucky to have uh, the effects team from Doctor Who over to help us out. I've worked with them before, Danny Hargreave, so he's here to do the big explosion for us. Rolling, please, go off. I'll be leaving you in the capable hands of... Get down! I watched it and it was bloody exciting. I had it on my camera, I got this really fancy camera a while ago and I, I videotaped it and I got such a fright when it went off. I was standing there for 10 minutes waiting for this explosion and I got such a fright. I had a play, it was recording and then I got such a fright when it went off, I knocked it off and, and ruined it. So uh, I was, that was embarrassing for a long time. How was that, Aidan? It was all right, I panicked. And just as I went <laughs> off, I knocked it off. I stopped recording, I, my heart went. There goes the funeral parlor, man, not before it's time. Uh, yeah, that's a good, oh, poor funeral parlor, all gone. Absolutely brilliant, man. Do you like that? I like that. Did you get that? Yeah, very happy with that. Um, nice big fireball, debris firing across the room, uh, across the road, and uh, yeah, the fire went exactly how I wanted it to. Nice bright orange flame um, with the debris. So yeah, 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 very, very happy. <laughs>